Are are they sticking with the Ridley here? Looks like it. Going into game one. I love red Ridley. Really good color. And we're going to Battlefield here. I'd say this is a pretty neutral pick for, for both characters. Heavies like the small. Well, big bodies like the, the smaller stage. I, w I wouldn't call Ridley a heavy. No, not quite. It doesn't make sense how light <laughs> Ridley is. Oh, is that an SB? Bowser's, <laughs> Bowser's struggling to not SB their first stock today. First stock, first game. We're just we're just gonna throw it away. Who needs them? I did like the uh, the combo damage that Gordo Lad was able to rack on there. Ooh, dying to a that was a little bit early for that. Yes, that was definitely early. I was. I, I looked away for, for, for a second just, just to check the names, and there's a stock taken. I just wonder, was he holding away to die like that? Yeah, that might have been a little bit sus, but getting back into it, F Smash quite nearly taking the stock. That is one of the stronger F Smashes in the game, I believe. Especially on yep. that sweet spot. For sure. Man grab coming in. Oh, that could have been a really quick clean read. They they had the position and went for the wrong punish there. Already I can tell that Big Boo, however you say it, Big Bot. Big Bot. Big I don't know. I'm gonna call them Anthony. Um Anthony here, they really I think need to work on looking for the down tilt. Yeah, they are up a stock, but a really quick up smash out of shield is going to take that. And we we have a near even game here. And with the conversions that Porto Lad is being able to get off, they've shown that they they really know really in and out. Seen some great angles on recovery. Oh, really, really good tech chase with the side B. That that's oh, that's it. Getting the dare out to Spike. They went, I mean, they went for it all right there. And yeah, that was... If that didn't trade, that's all, all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really like the audacity of Gordo Lad here. I mean, when you have a character as heavy as Bowser, you sometimes do need to take those risks. In my opinion, you do, at least. <laughs> Go to the live saying I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> yeah, I I wasn't expecting him to go for that option. I wasn't expecting the game to end right there, but that is gonna be Gordelite taking game one over big big boot, big bud. Man, I said this last week. Smash doesn't have weird tags. I mean I was gonna say I I was gonna say, I I haven't I haven't seen anything that ridiculous, but um, one of the players in my area, he's a PR player. His name is Bobby Fabulous. So I mean, Bobby Fabulous is a great name, though. Well, getting into game two, let's see Big Boots counter pick. I'm just gonna stick with that. Three, two, Going right back to one, Battlefield. Go! I'm not quite Funny. sure about this pick. I mean, it wasn't terrible considering that he did have an SD and the game was still last thought. Decent percentage. I just think that Gordo Lad really did control most of the game with their combo, um, with their combo conversions, with their reads, and just better punishes. And I feel like the small stage wasn't working out in their favor. Good, good shield pressure with a jab into Flame Breath. Both oh, oh, that's... Alright, he's gonna make it back. Not pan doing any panic options while down there. That was a really scary situation. I'm... I'm not sure very many players would, would have made it out of that. A lot, at least. Oh. Good read on the roll-in with the... With the drop fair. That was... I was... It, it, 
I, I, I'm gonna interrupt that, myself. That bear is say. big. Yeah, back here is big. Big bodies, big moves. I mean, what are you gonna do? And Guerrilla Lab really needs to find this first stock off of big food. Yeah, I get the eye surviving that. We definitely like big food kind of running away with it right now. Yeah, game two, they're really punishing Gordo Lads. Uh, kind of autopilot options. Side B, side B is going to kill, but Gordo Lad is sitting at kill percent. So this is effectively borrow time for them. Oh, I've never seen fair into down smash. I don't think that was true, but it looked nice. Yeah, definitely not true. That, yeah, that's going to be a top platform. Gordo Lad on their last stock of them in this game, too. Could be going to another game three. Teching off the side. Are they going to make it back? Oh, I think so. But Anthony already lapping on percentage. This is going to be a heavy hill to climb if they want to win this game, too. Yeah, take out Big Boot, but this... They're going for the big options, and while that that might have killed, it didn't, and they're going to be put Ooh. down there gonna... from downtown. Yeah, I can count with the long distance down air. That's going to be big blue taking game two, and we have back-to-back -back game threes and fools. Back-to-back -back game threes means that we get to see more games. And I'm not gonna complain. I love I love watching Smash. So the more Smash I get to watch, the happier I am. For sure. I wonder if we're gonna see Gordelot switch to the D3, because that's what I know them for playing. Um I was gonna say uh, I was gonna say it might be a better switch, but I don't quite know the the DDD Bowser matchup. So, I'm not quite sure. Looks like they're maybe considering it. Not quite sure. Um, Gordolad really did kind of throw away their um, advantage they had in game one. They kind of autopiloted recoveries. They kind of um, mashed a little bit too much. And Big Bood countered them. Oh, there's the D3 for you. Going, yeah. going with their namesake to an FD Yoshi story. Probably going for the good music there. Gonna see a little bit different play style out of Gordo Lad. Yeah, okay, Ooh. letting the upbeat rip. Not maybe a miss input. I was gonna sure. say I think that I think that's a miss input. Really good conversion on the Gordo. I like I, I I really like the option coverage there out of Gordo Lad, covering um, their aerial space with the Gordo and not quite killing with the up air. Yeah, buff up air, not killing Bowser early. That could have been really good DI. Um, I know that some people hold in a little bit too much and less down, and Gordo on ledge is gonna protect. Um or rather, is going to defeat Big Boot's recovery options. Forward throw. Fair. Oh my gosh, early fair. Yeah, max rage. That, that might have just been a kill, max rage. But that back here is going to do it. Got an even game. Last game. Two stocks left, both players. Pretty, pretty even percents too, and both of them just trading hits back and forth. Four tilt gonna rack on a little bit of damage into Gordo Fair. Oh, oh my gosh! Nice roll, roll read with the those... They went for it all with the down air spike. Not often you see it on DDD, but when it does hit, it is quite a sight. Yeah. I went another off stage there to hit off that thought below 110 percent. DDD is a large lag, but I think they need to add in a little bit more drift to a, to avoid these fares. But 
after a certain point, there's not too much you can do when Bowser just flies at you with it. Yeah. Whirling so Fortress gonna, gonna gonna rack on. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you gonna say? Yeah. So far in the game three, they just been going blow for blow, just taking stocks from one after another. Really interesting interaction with holding the jet hammer into flame breath. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just charging up that down smash. Great spacing to avoid the get up attack and catch Big Bood on it. Gordalad takes game two, or game three, excuse me. And that's a 2 1. We've got. We've got some big bodies moving on. Yeah, the Gordalad moving on to winner's round three. Are we going to see that? Oh. That early fair again. I see Gordon Light losing lots of stocks to that um, early fair off stage. 